Okay, so creating a page setup for a storyboard then be it one, two, three, or four is going to be a bit different from creating a page setup for a normal building like the one we are we worked on. So for that and um, to make it simple, we are going to you know add in one or two things, some folders and everything to make it well organized so that when you are doing it you're going to work smoothly and well. My name is Edno. This is AutoCAD Tutorials. Welcome if you are new. And if you are already a viewer, thank you for the support. Yeah. If you've not subscribed to the channel, feel free to subscribe if you are learning something. Leave us a like. And as a reminder, our complete beginner's master course is on the way. First quarter of next year. Don't miss out. Yeah. Check the pre-sign up link down in the description. Check it out and then hop back in the video. Let's go. So to do that, we have to go to our project browser. So we go to project browser. We want to create a new project. So we see, we come down here, we see new project. And then we want to add in a project number. So whatever number you want to use. I want to say 004. And then you name it. However you want to name it. Let's see. Um, two story building. Or story. Let me just see story building. Story building. You add in your description if you want. You can add in a description. I'm not going to say anything here. And then if this is on. If creates from template project is on. You want to turn it off. And then you say okay so you're going to have it set so you want to double click it make sure it is opened and then you close it so from there we are going to come to our project navigator if you do not have this bar you click on this particular icon up here you click on it and then this is going to pop up that's your project navigator it may not be at this side but it's going to be somewhere you just i'm the, i just dogged it to the right side you just, if you want it to be just like mine, you right click on this, you say allow docking, and then you right click again and say anchor left, and it's going to be pushed to the left side. So from there, we want to come here to current project, project, and then we want to edit the project. So you say edit project, and similarly here, you can add in your description detailed information. You're going to talk more about that later on. Don't worry, you don't want to worry yourself here. So from there, you want to turn this to yes, the nose. You want to turn them to what? Yes. And then you want to scroll down and then you find, uh, you want to find some templates. So where are they? <laughs> so you say, um, where are the templates I want to use? So you want to come here. <clears throat> it says common model. Common model. We want to change this. So you right click on this and then you want to find AAC model, Imperial CTB. Eh, AAC model, Imperial CTB. If you are using metric, if you use meters and millimeters and everything, you want to see AEC model, metric CTB. My use Imperial, so I say AEC model, Imperial CTB. You select that and say open. And then you want to come to sheet template. So you click on it and then you're going to get this. You want to first come here to the three dots up here. You want to click on it. And then you want to locate AEC sheet Imperial CTB. If metric to AEC sheet Imperial or metric CTB. I use Imperial, so Imperial. I say okay. And then you want to set the dimension. It depends on the project. If it's going to be a big project, you want to use somewhere down here. If it's going to be, it's not going to be that huge. You want to, you know, head up there. <laughs> so let's take somewhere like 24 by 36. So you say, okay, you're going to say allow changes to all nested subsets. And then we say, okay, we are done. We just change those things. That's all. The rest, you don't need to worry about them as of now. And then we go to our levels. We need to create our levels. The various levels we have. We have a foundation. We have the ground floor top floor and the rest so you come to name you want to change the name here so our first one is going to be the um the 
foundation so you say foundation you want to say foundation and then you want to set a floor elevation where it starts where the foundation is going to start this is where we do it so you want to set this and then you move on so you want to set it from negative four if your foundation is going to be five feet negative five feet if it's going to be six negative six feet that's where it's going to start so it's like negative four feet down and then you want to change the floor to floor height from where to where do you want that particular level to be at so from negative four feet down up four feet so it's going to be the distance is going to be four feet so four feet down that's where it's going to start and it's going to come up four feet that's where the earth is going to start so that's the idea here the earth is going so it's going to end at four feet for the foundation and then you want to set the id to um you want to set your id so you can just use anything for foundation so f and then you want to leave it to adjust elevation on you want to leave it on if it's off you turn it on and then you come here and then you click on this needs to add a new level so auto adjust means so it's going to adjust to where the next floor is going to start so if you should see here it's going to start from negative um, from zero so that's where we want it to start so we see first floor or ground floor let's use ground floor so we see ground floor ground floor and then you want to leave this or you want to leave this out the floor elevation you want to leave it and then you come here floor to floor height so you set your floor to floor height mine is going to be 10 feet that's the distance i want to use i want to change my id to um gf ground floor that's the, the whole thing and i want to add another one so as the if as the whole thing goes then you add another one so I want to add another one and then this time name it um, name it second floor or first floor that's yeah it's going to be first floor or yeah so first floor so you want to see first floor and then you want to leave the floor elevation there you don't want to change it so the floor elevations you don't change them so it's going to start four in um, four feet I'm 10 feet from zero up to 10 feet and then the next one is going to start from that 10 feet to where so that one too is going to be 10 feet high so I want to leave this also and then I want to set my ID to um, first floor so FF first floor so if you have a second floor you add it you don't change this you didn't change that because it's going to be 10 feet 10 feet so the floor height is going to be 10 feet that's the distance for rooms if you want to change it to 11 12 that, that depends on you then you will change it that depends on the project you are doing if you want to make the room you know the length of the room more than 10 feet you can change it but if you have a second floor you just add another one if you have a third floor you add that's what you want to do if you want to delete to you select delete you select and then you delete and that's to delete that's the idea so you see okay and this is going to pop up you have made changes to the project blah blah you always want to read it so you see yes and then it regenerates so that's the flow elevations we have here so we come down to our divisions you want to edit our divisions so the divisions are the various properties you are designing the main building if there are external ones like garage um other houses or other buildings in that particular um space you are designing let's say you have um a two acre land that you have to design four buildings in them and you have different different buildings let's say you have the main building the garage the um other houses let's see the guest house you is detached from the building or other things are detached here is where you you add them so that you can work on them separately so it's going to be in one project but different species that's the idea so yeah the first one i want or you always want to do is you want to add the main building so you see main building that's what you are 
mostly working on, so main building. And I want to set an ID, so MB, main building. You can add a description if you want. So if you have anything else, you add it. So let's say garage, um, we're going to do that. So if you have anything else, you say you add it. So let's say garage. So if you have another one, let's say um, the guest house is detached from the main building, you add it, you're going to change this to guest house or guest building, however you want to call it. And then you want to add an ID. So GH, if you have anything else, anything detached from the main building, which is also in that same property, that's here is where you add it. So you want to say, okay, you are done. So these are the divisions here, the floors and everything. And then we come to constructs. We want to add the constructs. But first, let's add the elements. So we say elements. Elements are, say elements, stuff to help us in the projects we are doing. Yeah. So I want to add in my first element. And then for that, I want to name this site plan. So if you have a site plan or if you a ground floor slab or ground floor stairs, you create this, you assign it to the ground floor. And then you create another one for the ground floor stairs. So it's going to be organized. So inside the ground floor slab, if you have any slab work, that's where you do it. So the slab for the foundation, you open this and then you draw that. You X-ref there ground floor into the ground floor slab and then you create the slab after you can turn the x-ray off and then you're going to have the ground floor and the slab alone there that's going to be for that particular thing so it's going to be well organized this is how you you create it or you you make it you position them so you have to create a new construct and then you name it ground floor stairs so when you are creating stairs here is where you open. You open this editor as well. That's where you create the stairs. So you open the, you open this, you extract the main ground floor. You're going to have the, the, the building there. Then you add in your stairs. You continue from there. So first floor two, you're going to have first, um, first floor slab. First floor, if you're going to continue to the second floor, you see first floor stairs. So that you're going to have stairs. That's going to lead to the second floor. That's the I that's how you want to arrange them and make it by so doing is going to be well organized. So when you are working, you're going to understand okay, this is the that initial is going to be you know a bit all over the place. You're not going to understand, you're not going to get the hang of it. But this is a better practice or a good practice that if you continue doing, you're going to you know get your works to be um nice and then perfect people are going to see it and then they are going to like it so you always want to just, just practice it you're going to get it and then it's going to you know just be <laughs> something you are going to be you're going to really really like when you understand it or when you get used to it so with this i'd like to end today's video my name is see you in the next video if you've not subscribed do subscribe check the links for our complete beginners master guide it is coming live so you want to you know check it and then sign up pre-sign up you want to sign up to get notified when it's out peace my name is Seidu.